Hey guys, this is Ray. I'm about to go up the hill towards Jardine. There's a pullout that's really interesting up there for night photography. And basically, I've got a Canon 5D Mark III, and I've paired it to a Rokinen 14mm lens. Now, a lot of this has to be adjusted manually. It's a, uh, it's a manual focus lens. Sometimes what you want to do is try to adjust your settings prior to getting out into the dark. Um, dark areas that you're going to be taking photographs. It's really helpful to avoid um, the frustration of trying to set something up when it may be cold outside, or you know maybe you're in an unfamiliar location and you're not you're you're not really feeling so great about standing out in the dark. Um, for me, I'm not really concerned with that. I'm taking extremely calculated risks where I've mitigated most of the potential issues that some people might just run into without fully thinking through what it is that they're getting into by taking photos at night in wild places like this. For an example, I'm going to be carrying bear spray. I definitely will have a headlamp on while I'm taking photographs and I've got a pretty high power flashlight. All at the same time, I'm going to be in a wide open area where I'm able to um, to visually control my, my space. And again, I've taken some steps to set up the night shot that I was already gonna um, gonna shoot for. I'm gonna be using a tripod. That's a must. It's very difficult to pull off night shots without a tripod. Right now what I'm looking at in terms of camera settings are my camera is in manual mode so that I can control all aspects of it. I've got the f-stop set to the lowest number which means that your aperture is as big as it can get to let in as much light as possible. Since we're going to be taking pictures of stars, and I don't believe that the moon has come up yet, the, it's important to have your, your aperture open as wide as possible, which again is the smallest number on this lens. That's f2.8. So I've got my aperture set at f2.8. I'm going to take a 15 second exposure for my initial test shot. And my ISO right now, I'm going to just set it at 800. That ISO is something that I'm going to change regularly um, throughout the throughout the range of, of photos photos that I that I see on my LCD after the fact. But in the meantime, my initial settings are just such that I should be able to fire fire off a test shot. What I'm going to end up doing when I take photographs, since I do have a subject that's going to be in the foreground, is I'm going to go into my live view on my camera. When I go into live view, I'll be able to to use the um, the option to zoom in to zoom in on my subject and then once I zoom in on my subject I can fine-tune the focus by using the focus, the manual focus ring on the lens. And in order to um, get the clearest shot you always want to try to, to pre-focus your subject. For me, I want to fine-tune it to a specific subject, so even though I might focus to infinity, I might have to fine-tune it a little bit to focus on the, the subject that's going to be my main um, center attraction. And that's really about it. Those are the initial things that you can do in advance to get your camera set up, or you can do it in the, or you can do it in the field. But for me, I did a little prep work ahead of time so that I could um, make the video as easy to make as possible in the dark.